Hello and welcome to the All Facts Specialties video training series. Today's video will cover downloading and loading the print drivers for your Sharp MFP in a Mac OS environment. Before we start, we will need to get a couple of bits of information. First, you will need the model number of your Sharp machine. Go to your machine and the model number will be listed on the Sharp badge on the front cover. Second, you will need to know the OS level your Mac is running. And third, you will need to know the network IP address of your Sharp MFP. For the 10, 40, and 65 series, at your machine on the home screen, you will press the following buttons. You will press the Settings button, System Settings, List Print, and then the Print button to the right of the All Custom Settings list. Your machine will print out two or three sheets and the IP address will be printed on the first page. At the top of the screen, click the Cancel button to return your machine back to normal operations. For the 70 and 71 series, at your machine on the home screen, you will press the following buttons. Settings, System Settings, the Status tab, List for User, and the Print button to the right of the machine status list. Your machine will print out two pages and the IP address will be listed on the first page. At the top of the screen, click the Cancel button to return the machine back to normal operations. Now that you have all of the information you will need, let's get started. On your Mac, open a web browser. We're going to use Google Chrome. We're going to go to the allfacts.com website. We're going to go to Customer Support and we're going to select Product Drivers and Manuals. Then under the Sharp logo, we're going to select MFP Drivers. We'll get another menu that pops up. We're going to go to uh, Product Category first. We're going to pick MFPs. We're going to pick <clears throat> in the Product window our machine that we Got that information earlier, but it's an MX3570V. So we're going to scroll down and find that machine. And we're also going to go to file type and we're going to pick drivers and utilities. We're going to click search and below will be all of the drivers available. Mac that we're using for the video was 10.15. So we're going to come down and, and find that. There it is. So we're going to go and download that driver package. Our driver package has been downloaded in Google Chrome. It will place it in the, at the bottom of the screen. If you used a different browser, you'll want to look in Finder under Downloads for that file. Next, we'll open the file. We're going to open the folder. We're going to double click the .dmg file. Take a second, but it's opening up. We're going to click on the MXC52 package. We're going to tell it Continue. We're going to click continue again and agree and we're going to go to install. You will be required to enter your passcode and you'll click close, allow or OK and click move to trash. So at this point, we'll close uh, all the windows in the browser. Open System Preferences. Click on Printers and Scanners. We have no printers loaded on this Mac. We're going to click the plus sign. The Add window will open. We're going to click IP. And we're going to make sure the protocol is set for line daemon printer. We're going to enter the IP address that we determined earlier. So for in our case, we're going to put our IP address. One thing we suggest is changing in this name box and putting the sharp name below. 
The IP address might confuse some users, so we always suggest putting the name in. Exactly as you see it here. And this also tells us, this use tells us the exact driver it's using, so we know this is the sharp OEM driver and not a Mac system driver. I'm going to click Add. I'm going to set the options. <clears throat> On the sheets that you printed earlier, you should have your options listed. In our case, we have four trays that do not have a large capacity tray. We have an inner finisher. We do not have punch. We do not have the job separator. We do have the right side exit tray. If your machine has faxing, you will usually 90% of the time, probably higher than that, but you will have the uh, right side exit tray. So at this point, we can close all the windows. Now let's print a document. We're going to use a PDF uh, for our video. So we'll open our PDF. We're going to click File. And then print. We could also use the print symbol here. So at this point, click on printer at the bottom. The driver settings menu <clears throat> has opened and it's on the layout tab. Confirm two sided is off. Many of the drivers now are coming with two sided on, so you'd want to change this and set this to off. Click the drop down next to layout and we're going to go to color. Confirm color is either on automatic or black and white depending on um, what, you, what your company has decided. Uh, we're going to leave ours on automatic. If you make a change, click the drop down arrow in the preset box and click save current settings and then give your new settings a name, default settings one are just default settings whatever you decide on and tell it OK and that will retain and save your settings click the print button click the print button again your document will be printed and this, that completes the steps in our video you've loaded a Mac uh, the sharp driver on a Mac OS machine that completes our video and thanks for watching if you need additional information or support, please visit our website at www.allfacts.com. You can also contact us at our main number at 504-443-0188. On behalf of the entire All Facts team, we appreciate and value your business. Thanks and have a great day.